Back here where my first walk and sock was filmed, where it all started. In front of five below, a place my wife says I should never go in. Cuz Papa Brad is the ultimate knickknack shopper. I mean, it's uh, I come out with a cart full of stuff every time I go in five below. So she says it's a store I should stay out of. And sometimes I think I kind of agree with her. But I do like five below. Let's get it started, shall we? This is Papa Brad with a home arcade walking sock. Today I'll be talking about Arcade 1UP. I arcade and add games. Let's get it started. We'll start off this video with an apology to SheLion Gaming, to the trans community. Did not mean for my last video to be offensive. It was a mistake. I realized how wrong my humor was. And for that, I am truly sorry. I wrote an apology and immediately took the video down. And even though I immediately took the video down and wrote an apology, it doesn't seem to be enough. Wrote the apology myself. I did use a word processor, so it was grammatically correct because the words were important and I wanted to make sure I was saying exactly what I wanted to say. To those uh, people that said I use ChatGPT, that's ridiculous. I don't even know what that is. I have been filled in that it's like an artificial intelligence program. Um, that didn't happen, you know. I just took my time and wrote it in Word because it was important that I said exactly what I wanted to say. And for that, you know, I'm glad that I had an opportunity to grow and learn, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry if the video offended you, I'm apologizing. It's not my intent to come off as transphobic. And I'm a human being, you know, I have a lot to learn apparently. I mean, I am not transphobic. Matter of fact, I had Steps Gaming as a co-host on my show. I mean, that statement is kind of ridiculous. Would I would I've had her there if I really felt that way? You know, I do realize that the criticisms I aimed at another content creator, I pushed it too far. But for that, I am truly sorry. I apologize. I'm gonna try to steer clear of drama content in my walking socks moving forward. That being said, let's continue on. Let's start with Arcade 1UP. Arcade 1UP had Eugene Jarvis on the Arcade 1 Update show. He's a creator of some of my favorite arcade games, games like Robotron, Defender, Smash TV. Cool that he did an interview, uh, I mean, this, this but there was no game announcement. There was no big drop. We didn't get our Robotron. precious Robotron cab we're all pining for. Donkey Kong. It's hinted at. All these, all these Other than that, it's kind of a tease. Um, uh, but so that was a gold shout out to Eugene Jarvis. His camera setup was really weird though. Part of his face was cut off. That was a bit distracting. But, you know, you take what you can get. Eugene Jarvis is one of the great 80s retro game designers. Of course, we all still want Robotron. And Smash TV. For me, Robotron is more of a want than Smash TV. Both good games. Anyone who has any of the uh, MK30 or MK Deluxe cabinets has noticed that uh, when you play, there's a little bit of a delay. It's called input latency. And sometimes you'll find um, that when you try a move or something, maybe you don't get it quite right. It's something that I have never noticed in other cabinets. I immediately nervous, noticed it on MK30. And I've just been bugging the crap out of QA for a very long time, showing them slow-mo videos and everything. Go look at this. You can see that when you press the button, almost half a second later, something happened. And in a fast-paced game like MK, that, that's that you can't do that. So what ends up happening is, is not only is your offline play affected, your online play is affected because not only do you have the delay of pressing the button that's normal and offline, you then put the lag on top of that 
if you're 100 milliseconds from somebody, now you've got a second, almost a full second of delay between pressing something and not, which is, you know, the narrative across the, the internet about the MK30 is terrible online because of all this lag. And that is absolutely true. It's because the input lag plus your regular lag equals terrible. It's been fixed. And I, I have to be real honest with this. I've been playing with this for a couple of weeks now, and I have now played this cab more since the patch than before because it's so much different. It's so much better. And if you are a Mortal Kombat fan, you will immediately feel the difference. It's good to see that they're working on input lag on fighting games where it's so critical to the gaming experience. Our next stop on today's Walk and Talk, who remembers bowling alleys? The bowling alley was a special place. It had a small arcade, and I remember in the 90s this being the first place I ever got to try out Street Fighter. Let's see what this bowling alley has in it today, in its arcade. Let's check it out. Replacing the amazing games I remember from the 90s that were in this arcade, we have a bunch of Raw Thrills games, including this gigantic Space Invaders. I gave it a shot to see what I thought of it. It's basically a shooting gallery type game. But unlike original Space Invaders, this game is impossible to win. So the better you play, the more stuff it throws at you until you're absolutely doomed. Making sure your gameplay is as short as possible. And you don't get the satisfaction of playing for a long time. You get a few tickets. But I guess this is the new way. This is the raw thrill. After this game, I checked out another Raw Thrills game, which I enjoyed a lot more. A game called Jurassic Park. It just was a basic gun shooter. But I found it a lot more fun than Space Invaders. The third game I tried is a classic. Mario Kart. But done in a big arcade style, that's a whole lot of fun. Of the three games, I would probably rate Mario Kart as being the most fun. Here I am playing and coming in second place. Go Mario. While the bowling alley had changed, I can picture young children playing these games and at least getting to see some of the images of retro video games such as Space Invaders and classic console characters like Mario. So while this had changed a lot, I'm glad that there is an arcade in this bowling alley for people to enjoy some arcade games. Let's get back to the home arcade talk. Let's talk about iArcade. iArcade news. Here's that iArcade is going to be officeless as they have basically been given orders to move. And so they'll be moving. Uh, lastly, uh, there's been a lot of things going on. Um, so a lot of things going on happening at here. Um, like one of the biggest thing was that um, our uh, owner of the building of our office um, has recently sold the building to somebody and everybody uh, in this building have been asked to vacate so that's been driving us crazy because as you guys may know we have a lot of stuff here in our office and I just came back from Korea so we have to find a new office 
uh, and things like that. So we had to move things over to storage until we find a new office and things. So we've been going crazy and I think we're going to continue to go crazy. Uh, so probably until we find a new office and get settled down and things, maybe a month, I don't know, a uh, month, maybe two months, I don't know. Um, we may need to go quiet for a while um, because of this. I mean, there are other stuff that's happening as well. Uh, so that's why we're going, we've are going. we been going crazy. On top of this, now we have this um, office issue. So um, this week, last week, the week before, we've been going crazy. Um, and then now we have to find office and find a new office, get situated and things like that. So it may be a while before we are able to come back to normal. Um, just as an FYI. So uh, there is probably going to be many things impacted again because we don't have an office um, until we find a new one. Customer service uh, is probably going to be delayed. My sincere apologies for that in advance. Um, and then everything else is going to be delayed. And um, we will be working from home probably during this time. But again, it's not just working, right? I mean, finding office and doing other stuff that's just going to go crazy. Um, so, <coughs> so I ask for your understanding uh, while we get resituated. Uh, it's gonna take some time, but if we're slow during this time, I ask for your understanding. So, uh, thank you so much for that. Uh, this is pro this is going to be our last broadcast uh, in layer. Did we get enough time to back it legally? I think so. Um, they sold the building, and um, he let us know that he sold the building. And we had really good relationship. So uh, we said, sure, okay, fine. Uh, and he gave us a um, good amount of time to pack up, but we had too many things <laughs> in our office. So, and uh, too many heavy things too. So it's been taking a little while. Apparently, owners have decided to change the way they rent out the space. So I know what a pain that is. Happened to me recently, and you know, it's a tough break. But you know, hopefully, IRK can bounce back and they can get and regain the resources they need to move forward. I'm a huge fan of IRK, so I wish them nothing but the best. But one has to wonder how did they become officeless? I mean, I, I would have, you know, I would have liked them to have taken the initiative to try to work something out before they had to shut down and move. Hard question from Piggy. Why didn't you have a new office lined up when you were given notice? <laughs> uh, fantastic question because I was in Korea, number one. <laughs> number two, uh, it's not too long ago when we heard this. And number three, we have a lot of, lot of stuff here. On top of a lot of stuff that's going on, a uh, lot of stuff that we have to vacate first and things like that. So, at no time whatsoever. Question, hand pink waving. <laughs> Is it like this? <laughs> How long are you predicting <coughs> it will be to get in your office? <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, I'm not sure. Um, TBD. You need some happy juice. Yes, I do, my friend. I need some happy juice. Uh, something that's happier than a spin drift. <laughs> um. When I asked Jong on live stream, he said it's to be determined when iArcade will be back to doing things as usual. Other iArcade news iArcade is running a giant sale right now. The Backyard Summer Sale. A lot of games are heavily discounted. It's time to pick up some of them titles you're missing. And I would recommend everyone download everything to your machine. 
you know there's there's no risk to having it on your machine that way you're safe in the future it's a good time to scoop up some of the games you're missing a reminder that once the games are in your library on your machine nothing can happen that's going to take those games away from you so you know if there are titles you want scoop them up now complete your collection on the iArcade see if you have a nice standalone arcade with tons of good games on it meanwhile in the background at games it's building the death star developing 4k home arcade and 4k pinball go at games This has been Papa Brad with a home arcade walking sock. If you like this video, hit thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel. Maybe even becoming a member of the iArcadians Illuminati. As always, stay legit.